H2K Infosys provides world-class online IT training, staffing and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Infosys supports 100% job-oriented training, hands-on project work, cloud test lab, resume preparation and review, mock interviews, robust syllabus, one-time pay, lifetime access to live classes and videos. H2K Infosys has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For free demo class, visit h2kinfosys.com. Hello everyone. So today we are going to take a look at three important components of web service. That is Wisdom, then SOAP and then UBDI. So Wisdom stands for Web Services Description Language. SOAP stands for Simple Object Access Protocol. UDDI stands for Universal Description, Discovery and Integration. So first begin with Wisdom. Okay, Web Services Description Language. So as per this diagram, suppose there are two different users who are accessing Amazon.com. One is on iPhone, other is on laptop. They are trying to search for the price of one same product on both the devices. So if you are trying to search the price of same product on both the devices, there is no way they are going to get different price because both of them are accessing same web service that is get price. So Wisdom is like advertisement of a web service. So whenever Amazon says it has a get price web service, it will advertise in certain manner and that format of advertising is Wisdom. Okay. So advertisement of web service is a Wisdom. It's an XML document used to describe the web services and how to access it. So it's written in XML. It is used to describe the web service and it's a W3C recommendation. Okay. Now it contains three important things. That is name of the web service, input required, output generated, so that the caller for application knows what to send and also you will get proper output. So similarly, what web services publish their wisdom with the name, input and output to the rest of the world so that they can build UI accordingly. Best example is weather.com. Everybody is aware of this particular website that is weather.com. Okay, so you if entered a zip code, if you enter the zip code, then based on this zip code, it is going to show you the temperature in Fahrenheit. It is going to show the status as mostly cloudy. Right? So this similarly, okay, so the input is zip code, output is temperature in Fahrenheit. A status message and it is saying sunny or say cloudy okay so here we have a wisdom document which looks like this okay so what we will do is we'll try to read this wisdom you know like a simple English language if you pay attention carefully operation name is a is get weather so operation name here is a web service name that is get weather in this wisdom what we will do is if you pay attention carefully we will try to search for input message that means input is get zip code okay so get zip code and you can see for the get zip code the type is integer that means the data type is integer it is going to accept only numeric values Okay. Now try to search for output message that means your output which is get weather in Fahrenheit. Now try to search for this get weather in Fahrenheit okay, in this particular visual document. So we can see here you have get weather in Fahrenheit which has three different outputs and the type that means data type is string. So it has temperature. It's, it's in Fahrenheit, chances of rain, and then status. That means cloudy or sunny. Alright. So here we have understood that for a given input, we have, which is a zip code, we have three different outputs. That is temperature, which is in Fahrenheit, chances of rain, and then status. Okay. So this is the use of the wisdom. It has what is web service, what is input, and what is output. Now if you see port type, Port type is here. So port type is like consolidation 
of web services so in my daily weather you can have multiple web services that is you can have for two day a week or a month okay so all the operations for example get weather for a week month daily weather can be included under one port type okay so now we are going to write test cases looking at this wisdom we will be writing test cases looking at this particular wisdom if you pay attention carefully in the testing tip i have mentioned for an operation sending different input for the same operation and checking right, right responses mainly wisdom testing so if we pass valid zip code then we should get correct output if we pass invalid output we should get proper messages results not found the same output you will get if you enter incorrect zip code on inweather.com okay so wisdom testing is done using soap ui tool you will be getting this kind of wisdom in real time we need to give different outputs and check for the output so that is nothing but web services testing and you will be given this kind of wisdom okay so you can see in this wisdom that it says weather in fahrenheit so it is described in wisdom and this is the importance of wisdom okay so wisdom file is saved with extension .wsdl wisdom can be viewed in any internet browser wisdom generally has multiple operations single operation has single request and response okay now coming to this important ground rules okay as we know that wisdom is written in xml now xml does not have predefined tags that means everyone can create their own tag sam have his own tag david is having his own tag rishi comes and writes his own tag so if everyone is having their own tag nobody can understand what is happening is that recommended no so here comes soap so we standard we have a standardized protocol which is known as soap which stands for simple object access protocol okay so soap is a protocol for accessing web service it is a communication protocol communication between the applications it is platform independent language independent based on xml simple and extensible okay now when web service has to be implemented it should be secured now suppose we have a application made in java and one in c sharp they use web services that is fine but there should be some procedure to interact so that's why we have this rules and the rules are important see now we have a game like cricket where more all the countries participate different countries participate like say india west indies australia sri lanka so here we are playing the same game but do all the countries speak the same language do they have same population same culture no so the rules of playing this game cricket is same this is protocol why because as software applications are developed in different languages like java mainframe dotnet they need to come across a single protocol a single rule set to communicate in a standard way so we have simple object of Object access protocol which standardizes the way all application communicate. It is a communication protocol. Okay, so in SOAP UI tool, we'll be using SOAP for accessing web services and web services testing. So the SOAP document looks like this. So the entire SOAP XML is within the SOAP envelope that identifies the XML document as a SOAP message. A header element that contains important information about the data like authentication and payment then you have the body element that contains the actual call and the response information that means information to be transmitted then a fault element contains information about errors and all the status so the last part is uddi okay now uddi is universal description discovery and integration okay so now here this is like a similar to that of it is a global repository okay so similar to that of our phone directory okay you will find here list of web services now all the service provider register their web services with uddi using wisdom file and any client who is looking for particular web services can check in this uddi file so the client has an option to choose one service provider and get the wisdom from that provider and access that web service so we can say it's similar to that of phone directory if you are trying to search for the phone numbers of different people we have phone directory so here we have a list of web services and the client can go ahead and select the web service from particular provider okay so this is all about 
three different components of web services. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you everyone for watching this video. Thank you once again.